get started so where do we see what we did look at this all part we have a infrastructure monitoring already in place now we have a few integrations we did it already in place if you see that here we did the logs monitoring already in place here we did the ux monitoring synthetic monitoring also also already in place and then ram monitoring also we did in place so now the question is how do we set the alerting that is a question so here alerting means monitoring which is here so now you see that the moment you read it you will understand that what exactly that is manage monitoring means manage alerts triggered one new monitor manage downtime here we have incident and slos which i showed you during the epr so now let's go for the manage monitoring right now do i have a monitoring actually this i have not created but the question is from where i got it any clue i did not create any synthetic synthetic yes from there you create and you got okay so can we create a monitoring now remember that monitoring you create based on a certain matrices and certain value which can be a durations some interval or something like that so now if you go and create a new matrix new monitor now you see that here what we have look at this so you can create a monitoring based on the matrix received from the oh sorry you can create a monitoring based on the agent is running or not running host you can create a mat, uh, monitoring means alert based on the metric value De uh, you can create a monitoring based on the anomaly detection in your in your uh, you know integrations you can create a metric based on the atm data the one which you did last time you can also create a monitoring based on the audit trails audit trails means what so here audit trails monitor alerts when a specified type of audit event exceed a user defined threshold over a given period of time you can create a matrix based on the events you can create a matrix based on the forecast you can create a, a, a alert based on the integration you can create a alert based on the live process or running or not some logs network outliers process check ram service check slo and many so basically anything whatever you did so you can create a alert on it so now let me create a some of the alerts based on the matrix now the moment you select the matrix see this is such a such a nice graph i'll go for the more than 4 hours probably one day this will be good now which matrix you are seeing here so here you are seeing this matrix so do you want to see something else let's say cpu utilizations so cpu and these are the matrix which you have ec2 matrix also you are getting but i am not interested in this ec2 matrix but something like a system cpu so system cpu ideal okay this is the one and you see that this graph is been uh, automatically populated that means in my machine right now 80 90 almost 98% of cpu is idle right now so do you want to create a matrix based on that so basically here what you can select any matrix which is available in the data dot matrix explorer which you are trying to do from last 2 3 days so you can create a matrix based on that from which machine one specific machine or all machines okay all machines means you can use some regular expression wild card you can see that can you see the my uh, uh, cursor where i am googling yes yes we can see yeah or you can you can also set at the some of the server level now i forgot the name of my machine also this was local host maybe i think this one yeah so this is the one so depends on that if you want to group of machines for the cpu idle so automatically all this will be averaged by or you can see averaged by max by minimum by sum by you define the logic okay so now average by because it's the one machine so if i say cpu idle if it is more than 60% okay average by sorry uh, average by what so average by host okay average by host now here you have also to set some multi alert systems also so this is the define a metric i did it and minimize this now what is the condition for it so there is a two conditions which you have it 
one is threshold one is warning don't rush read each line and you will automatically understand it trigger when the evaluated value is above of this matrix the one which is set in the here above <clears throat> for any host and what is the threshold so let is a threshold is let's say if it is more than uh, 60% 80% uh, idle then is a threshold alert and if it is a more than uh, 60% then you should be having warning for it that means i should have utilization see here so the moment you set 80 and 60 if you go a little up did you notice something in the graph the color change right color change but because you know what i want the alert to be happen so here in this case alert will not happen so what i am trying to do here i am setting 99 so I, at i'm sure i'll get alerts that means my idle is 898% that means i'm setting the alert at 99% just i'm doing a uh, wrong values because of i want to have alerts okay so here and uh, there are some more missing options are there if data is missing what to do and all now what is that subject line you know guys this you can customize also here you have lots of plenty of variables which is given by the data which you can use it okay so right now not complicated uh, some host one is missing is something like that i want to i just i want to put the some subject and here some 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 message which you want to send it notify to which user rajesh kumar and here now these are the some of the permissions i let it be like this and here okay so one of the alerts one of the alerts i created one of the monitor i created an alert will be generated just in the moment uh, you get a data so right now manage monitor here there is one this host one is missing is mine okay so now you can create this is a infra monitoring now you can create for the apm monitoring also where here no you know apm very well now which are the primary tags you can do that here you, which are the services i have to uh, apm is not running right now that's a problem that's the reason here so what i will do you know i'll go for one day uh chat ha huh. so here only i have a few data only actually so because apm has stopped yesterday so i should go for two days or something ha huh. so this is the data so here this is the apm how many hits you are getting so if you are getting the more than i mean i cannot create alerts because of the region it's got stopped but here i still i can create but it will not create a when i can set up a monitor i can i will not get alerts because the traffic is uh, not there so here the logic is if the traffic is coming more than 1.76 hits per second i should have an alert that's the reason so what are the resources all resources and for 5 minutes and what is the threshold so here request per second or abdex score now you know abdex score right 0 to 1 remember all of this matrix which we discuss in the apm section all of you remember errors per second app dex error rate average latency p50 p70 90 95 99 all these things we can set it up now i i need errors per second if error per second above than 1 lakh then give me alerts if it is warning more than 80 80000 then this give warning i'm setting up i don't have that much of traffic right now but i'm setting up okay you see that this become graph got updated so what i am trying to say maybe for me for my side 1 lakh is a ddos attack my, my, because my regular traffic is let's say 10000 okay or let's say 80000 maybe some sometime when i run uh, some uh, some big billion sales to out of it so may spike twice thrice or something but on an average so here i am setting up alert for it so 1 lakh 80000 these are the some of the settings you read and do it and then these are the automatically detected let it be and then create so guys are you finding any problem setting up the monitoring aka alerts all of you it's like uh, there are some syntax we can write on that page right so if for some complex query and that 
it is no query as such but syntax variables are there so if you go let me show you one more time so here you create a new monitoring okay let's okay. say matrix monitoring here this uh, whatever you want to send an email there you can put some variable now what variable is supported so all the variables which is here so all this variable you can support you can get it it's uh, automatically data dog will detect and interpret those variables uh, not in the email body that uh, check where we select the metrics and and all conditions right ha huh, here so it is a condition define metric source ha huh, this is the one define a metric source this is the one uh, and there is a source type right okay uh, so here what we are doing edit and source so here uh, see i'll tell you a simple thing uh, here you can give this way or the same query you can write in this way it's a, both are same so people what typically they do that they uh, they define this one and copy this and this they run it through the api because this you cannot run through api right so this you can run through the api got yeah. it so whatever yeah, you select yeah it's like usually it would be a complex query to write in the real time application right so it won't be a simple matrix that we monitor there could be various conditions to check then only notify so in uh, that case you, adding query ah uh, okay okay no simple query i'll tell you so for that you don't touch this you go composite monitoring which is here new monitoring and can you please read first and then i'll explain it to you here you can do through ui you don't have to write a query for it but yeah you query also you can write it if you want but here it is can you read this composite monitor allows you to combine the results of multiple monitor into the single results so that means if you have set up a multiple monitor and now you want to create a one consolidated alert based on the all the output of the monitor then you can use composite one so i think you are talking about this one so here you can do uh, the same way you can do and get it done very much okay so thank yeah. you so all all types of monitoring you have it through ui but yes if you are keen to write a, a, a queries also that's super because they support the queries but uh, uh, just list use here actually okay so now so here i created a monitoring so now here you see i i intentionally i created a monitoring and i got a alert now i the email will be sent to that email id and here you have alerts and this alerts you can do something you can declare an incident you can mute it you can resolve it all this thing you can setting change over the period of time all this thing you can do that are you understanding all of you yeah yes rajesh okay so this is the way you can create a monitoring by the way one important thing which i want to show you at that age that age if i create a monitoring you have to understand this very well okay so some of the algorithm is you've been used you have to understand this one so here these are the detection method so detection method by default is a threshold that means you set up a threshold but sometime you know what you set don't set a threshold you set the range actually range so automatically during the range change happens and if it is beyond that range then alerts can happen here anomaly detections also is there outlier alert is also there and forecast is also there now you'll see that how that anomaly detection will happen so basically this is a this is the algorithm which is governed by data dog and here you have a few algorithm which i want to show you uh for 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 um here i think it should be here but i'm think i'm seeing no no out. just a second i give, give me two second those algorithms are i think they remove the algorithm or what Mm. one more time let me check uh uh 
I'll check with a peace of mind a little bit later, but I'll show you the algorithm which is I'm talking about. So, <coughs> uh, data dog monitoring, where is this? Here it is. So, which algorithm I was talking about? So, there are multiple algorithms, MAD, SCAN, and all those algorithms, which is Huh. So these are the algorithms actually. So here, this is the outlier detection method. This is the outlier algorithm. DV scan is one algorithm. MAD is another algorithm. Scaled is another algorithm. So these are the algorithm which is built in. So if you have a really interest uh, for understanding this algorithm, how it works and all, how they find out the outliers, how they find out the anomalies and all stuff like that. So this algorithm you can little bit study actually. So here anomaly also here. So like that. So this algorithm detailing we can find in the Datadog website also. So Datadog monitor algorithm. Rhythm. This is just for knowledge purpose. You are not modifying this. You cannot modify this algorithm just for knowledge purpose. So here, uh, this is a function, anomalies function. Detailing is are here. Uh, outlier, here is a outlier and algorithm, uh, where is algorithm? Uh, yes. So here you have algorithm. Uh, I think the one which I'm trying to show you is not in this page. Just give me two seconds. Um, let me search through that way because lots of pages, lots of entries, lots of things are there. So, huh, DB scan and mad. DB scan. Yeah, so here this is algorithm page. And this is the, they have written a blog actually. So here, here it is. So this is the DV scan algorithm. Okay. And this is the mad algorithm. And this is the versus all this thing. So in a blog, they will find. So all the internal see in Datadog, everything they have made it like a spoon feeding. But how this is in power, what logic is there? For that, you can read such, such kind of stuff. Okay. So this is an outlier I was saying you for oh, sorry outlier or for forecast I was showing you. So like that for each and every uh, things you for anomaly there's an algorithm uh, outliers there is an algorithm forecast there's an algorithm and they they have used those algorithm to you know give us to set up a monitoring and alert. Okay, so that is a uh, one thing also you can check out. Uh, so here you can create an incident multiple places you I showed you already here you can create a manually the manually the incident get started here so these are the customizations of your incident label and all here you can create a SLOs and all I think yesterday I set up SLOs through the APM you can set up a new SLOs also here is the Okay, so are you comfortable with the monitoring right now, all of you? Any questions? Hello? Yes, Rajesh. I'm okay, so now I'm going to teach you in one go itself, dashboard also. So now, what is a dashboard? So I think more or less we understand what is a dashboard. So now you see that these are the dashboard I have not created. So from my, where I got it, one of the beautiful things about the data dog is the moment you integrate, you can get lots of dashboard. Yes. So these are the dashboard, which is free. So one advantage you have it, so you don't have to develop a da dashboard for your tool. So let's say I integrated system, Tomcat, some of the synthetic monitoring, RAM, 
and Gen X, I did not do that. I don't know how come you got it. Maybe some of your server, some of our servers will be having Nginx. My SQL I installed, I had a server and all. So Docker and all this stuff like that. So whichever integrations you have it, you will get a free dashboard. You may get it. It's not like compulsory. You will get it. You may get it. That's the one advantage. But the thing is here, I have not come for create, uh, referring the existing dashboard. Though you can, you know, the how to best, how to learn the best way to create a dashboard. Let's say some of you said, Hey, uh, I don't know Apache, I don't know Tomcat, I don't know this tool, I don't know that tool. So how do I still create a dashboard? Nothing. There's a dashboard Apache available. And these are the best practiced dashboard what you have. Clone it and modify as per your requirement. Okay, how do you clone it? This is a dashboard and clone it with whatever the name. And now this is owned by me. So now you can do with anything with the, that dashboard. So here Apache cloned. This is me. See, author is Rajesh Kumar. And this is the system default dashboard. Are you understanding all of you? So now you can go and click on this dashboard. And each graph, you can study, edit this, and st uh, uh, steal the logic from this. And do the same thing with the, with the whatever you know other dashboard you want. Are you understanding all of you? Hello? Yeah, right. yeah. yeah, but now the question is, okay, stealing party, anyways, you'll do that better way. But I taught you, I told you, I reminded you, you can steal. These are the, all the best dashboard with a graph, lots of the graph is created using the best practices. But now, how do I create my own dashboard? I want to create a greater customized dashboard. So what to do? New dashboard. New list means multiple dashboard. You can keep it in the list. Right now, not interested. And here, this is Rajesh one dashboard. Okay, Rajesh one dashboard. And here, there's a three types of new new time board dashboard, screen board dashboard. One, this is the uh, snap which dashboard. Right now, time board means this is a good for you know browser. A screen board is good for the TV's large screen and all. So I'll go for the browser based dashboard, which is here. And new dashboard. Now, this is the dashboard. What you want to do? So Rajesh one is a dashboard. What you want to do? We add the widgets. What widgets? Look at this here time series, query value, top list, table, all these types of widgets you have. You have to feed this. But right now, I'll teach you a few more cheating nodes. So let's say without filling this one, I want to create a graph. How can I do that? So remember Rajesh one is a dashboard. Now, first I'll teach you cheating. So let's say I will go for API. Uh, two days. This is the Deloitte. And now let's say you, do you like this, this graph? You want to see the, this graph on the dashboard? What I'm asking, do you like this APM graph? All of you? Hello? Yeah, we would like to export you this would like to that to. as well. So just do the export. This is also cheating, which Rajesh, I got one. I did not do anything. It was ready made. Okay, this is a, from APM, you can steal the, the graph, like error rate. <coughs> okay, gone to oh, 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 Rajesh. Two graph, I got it by now. What else you want? Go to the something else also. Go for, go for, go for synthetic monitoring. Where is the CUX monitoring here? So go for synthetic test. What graph you want? So this is a still running, right? I'll just use it here. And here you have a lots of graph. See here, this graph, that graph from this region. You like it, understand this. Go to dashboard, Rajesh one. Third graph, I got it. So I got UX, I mean, uh, synthetic also. Can I go for RAM also? Where is RAM, by the way? Uh, it got oh, here it is <clears throat> RAM. This is the uh, things here. You have a, this graph. I'm looking for something which you can export it. So here export button. It's not that I can copy the ID also. You can paste it. That is also possible. And here it is so many graphs. It's not populated well because the traffic I did not hit it manually through the browser. Okay. So you can go and uh, hardly you have a data actually but still you can go and export it. 
Rajesh. Fourth graph, I got it. What do you want? Some logs? Uh, let me see that. Uh, where is that? Search. Okay. And this you want? Fields, pattern, transaction, uh, list, time series, top list, or search, whatever you want to do, customize this output and export to dashboard. Which dashboard? Rajesh dashboard. Output. Now you say, Rajesh, you are stealing too much. You do some work also. Okay, I'm ready to do the work. Where to do the work? Go for exploring the option. Where is the exploration? Matrix Explorer. Here. Okay. So and Rajesh, here, on that previous page, sorry, I have a query. And, and the log search, right? If we have searched for errors, right? let's say there were few errors and a couple of records were shown after applying that search and we export it to the dashboard. Will that uh, dashboard the query along? Be... Yeah, you will get a query. I'll, I'll show you that one. I was query also you can import. Yeah. Okay. So, so the new errors I wanted to ask like new errors would be shown in the dashboard, right? Time series will decide no new errors. Time series here. This is yeah. time. So that time only the records. Would yeah. be there. So yeah. it won't be of much use in the dashboard in that case, right? So if you... Depends. Uh, you can create some pattern, some extract the fields or something. Uh, maybe in last two hours, what are the number of errors lines you have got it? You want to you want to display like that, correct? No? I don't have error right now, so see, there's no error, so it's like that. Okay, okay. So yeah. So I was saying something different. Yeah. So now I'll I'll explore myself. I'm I'm very uh, discovery kind of person. I have all kind of data. Which is which is integrated to the data dog using n number of days, which I taught you already. And I have all these metrics, logs, APMs, rub, profiles, event, processes, incident, everything I have here. And that is where I will write my own formulas, own queries. Here I can do that. So what is a CPU user? This is the one formula. Okay. And you can add a queries here, you can filter by a lot of things you can plan by this machine, that machines, all these things. You can, uh, let me add control. Uh, you can add a formula, min, max, whatever you want to do. Something you can do on the output of matrix and matrix two. Okay. And finally, you want to, you see, if you think this output is as per your expectation after applying all these formulas, queries and all, and then this graph is okay. Or you want to change the graph, lines, areas, bars, you want to bars, like let's say make it brass, what style, cool, warm, all these things you can change it. I don't think so, I have to teach you what exactly gray, purple, all this, uh, the moment you touch it, you'll understand. Okay, so now let's say this is a thing. This I design myself, maybe you will spend few days actually designing this graph. And because requirement, you know that, right? And then export it to dashboard. And here, Rajesh. So by now you saw that, <clears throat> sorry. In infrastructure also, I, I think I have not stolen anything, right? Let me steal something. So infrastructure, which is active, I think this one or this one? I think this one. Okay, so there's so many things which we have from here also. You can export it in the full view. So you want CPU uses, go and take it up. Where is the export? Um, see guys, this made me upset actually. Do you find the this one? What do you say? Uh, uh, this one export to dashboard? No, correct now. Hello, guys, look at it. Do you find yep. export to dashboard? Yeah, this itself is a dashboard. <laughs> huh. but you don't have a dash. I mean, I don't want to. I want to see at Rajesh one dashboard. So I don't have what to do now. This is trouble me. So what to do? We can take this link on now. Put this. Ha, link in widget, that's okay, but I'll copy. Copy, yeah. Yeah. So I'll copy. If they will not allow, there must be some different way. Rajesh one. Few graphs has come. Edit mode, where is edit mode? Is there already? Here. And paste it. Got it. Understood, all of you? Different, different way I'm teaching you. How do you feel? Correct now? So you saw that your dashboard is ready with all the ingredients which you wanted to monitor and display to the whole world. 
you got the free dashboard you created your own dashboard uh, 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 stolen multiple graphs which you wanted but now i'll create my own graph so how do i create a own graph from here also you can create a own graph so can we do this so let's do that add widgets where is that it's gone uh, just a second let me change this from last one days at widgets why it's gone ha huh. it's this, no 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 it was loading issue actually i got so shocked for some time it's loading issues so now what i want i want the time series okay fine what time series so let's so let's go for the disk disk uses so this is my this is my system disk do you have ec2 i don't want to go for it uh, system disk total and this is the time series utilization you can see from last past the day and all this uh, you this you beautifications and all you can do that very well i think you guys some of you must be very creative person you know, all this thing and save it what you want i want the query so here how many what query so here host level i'll go for matrix me just a second ha huh. rum query value top list rum means what is the size of traffic which you got it and all stuff like that did i get this much of stuff not sure okay anyways so this is the one now get for another one let's so let's say go for top list and here i'll go for the top list which is apm probably so apm top request where is that so count apache apm and which service so right now i can't see that mm, what was the service name anyone remember that mm, i forgot that service name actually uh so deloitte chat ha huh, something like that yeah uh i have to copy paste that is not work l i o t deloitte hyphen no, chat no 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 d i ah, got it got it got it okay yeah so this is the one and no data why uh count by group by uh status service uh type http host http method your uh something is problem with the basically apm they are tracking the live data that's reason this uh, the moment if your apm is running no this will be populated automatically that's the struggling I, you have no the service is wrong name service name is not right is it yeah. okay let me copy paste it will be easier for you also. so go for apm services uh one day right one day uh this is the service hmm. so apm now service face it this is the one is correct yeah yeah and group by uh, everything related with ha huh. it has come so 12 12, 12 you have count by uh, count of let's say how many environment you have so prod only one environment you have but what is a 12 i'm still thinking group by okay count maybe it's counting the resources and stuff and then save it so this is the way you can you can keep planning it's up to see this is you have to play in your mind at i'm little bit fast right now but you have to play in the mind so you have to create here you want to embed some image here you want to add some text here and all this thing you can do that and finally this is my dashboard and i want to see that and here you have it. are you understanding all of you so rajesh i have one question say like yeah. you have multiple widgets mm -hmm. right and based on some input which you are giving on top you mm -hmm. would like to have the uh, each dashboards uh, render the data accordingly right correct, correct. So how how can we do that say yes. the reason i'm asking is because say like uh, i'm supporting 600 700 applications got it got right it. 
and I want to have uh, application specific graph coming on dashboard based mm. on the application which I'm selecting or a product right. which I'm selecting. Right, right, right. So how can I do that? Uh -huh. The answer is you have here add a template variable. So here you can add some variables, whichever you want it. Let's say variable is region. I'm just giving you example. And here default region is something. What is this? Just a second, hold on. Add template variable and default value. Uh, I want to give it. Uh, wait a second. Um, delete this. That was existing actually. Uh, yeah. So here, let's say host and variable name is host tag and attribute and default value it can be anything so now here default value is this one now available values everything done now the variable is uh, just so i can understand this way so variable each host okay now this you will use in the each graph and accordingly you will populate so for example i use this variable save it now here host huh. and here how to run this uh, so just a second okay this you know what uh, so variable I set and I want to huh. uh, so this should be the list actually so the list is not coming now wait a second In edit mode, it's coming. In two, three, four, five. So here five, save it. Now, yeah. So here I made an entry in the edit one. So now what you have to do, the variable is host, which is you have to use in the graph, dollar host. Okay. So now the moment you select, for example, this graph, yes. this graph, you have the queries which you have said. Let me edit this query. See here. So here, edit the query. And here, if you say by this is equal to this is equal to this one, something. So automatically, this will be populating. And here, you will select that in the view mode. Here, you will select the moment you select this one so value will be set for this and then each one will be changed i'm not able to create a proper one because it required multiple region setup and all availability so like that are you understanding hello got it thanks yeah. thanks little bit of work is, is done to at the graph level but from here you have to use this host this variable you wherever you use as per the things it will change Okay, any other question, guys, on the dashboard front? Huh. Guys, are you understanding all of you? Dashboard? Hello? Yes, 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 yes. Rajesh. Okay. Now, <clears throat> someone has. So, this is the dashboard. This is the infrastructure we did, monitoring we did, metrics exploration we did, integration we did. 
APM we did. Uh, notebook. What is a notebook then here? So guys, do you know the concept of runbook? By the way, anyone? Some sequence of uh, instructions which we do it one by one together. In case of see, I'll put it in a very simple way. Uh, you, I am the engineer, SR engineer for you guys, and first mm -hmm. time I experienced one of the issues. So I troubleshoot. I spend a lot of time. And I troubleshoot and all the commands, all the flow, all the graph, all the text, all the instructions, I have it. Now, what you will say, Rajesh, you work on it. You fix that some of the important problem. Can you do one thing? Can you put it in a documents? So next time, if that similar issues will come, and maybe you are on, not on that, uh, that role, I mean, support role at the time. So other engineers will take it up. Correct now? So what I'm going to do? So I will come to the notebook and I will say, hey, I'm writing the documents for you. So notebook is equal to run book. Actually. So here the benefit of this run book is you can embed the live graph. Okay, you can embed the live graph. So here you can embed the live graph. Let's just see if you, oh no, this is a, uh, yeah. So here you can, uh, let's say query, what query, time series query. And for time series CPU, this is the something I'm just faking out actually. This is the live graph. I want it done. So this is one graph. What I want extra. So uh, I'm I, first. Let me save this. And now you want to edit this. So editing. This is the first notebook, by the way. This is a viewing, and this is editing. Now editing. Where is the plus button? You see here. Uh, what you want? I want the some sort of text. So you need to you need to do this and that. So this is the important text and done. What else I want to do? I want to image. So images option is there in a uh, different format. So let's say you want table. So here done, you want something query, query value done. All this thing, whatever you want, you want to keep it list of some data and done. So this is the way you can create a notebook. And when you see this is the one notebook, you have got it. And we can share with the, anyone who wants this one and get it done. So when you create an incident here, somewhere incident, you can link to the notebook and this notebook have important information which can be anytime referred and used for it makes sense guys all of you yes yeah now network monitoring so network monitoring which be someone has asked me okay so how do we do that so network monitoring earlier they were having in here only but later they removed and put it in the in, under the integrations only. So here under the integrations and search for network, which network you are trying to monitor. So these are the network available for that you can monitor. So Juniper, Fastly, Cisco, F5, Safran, and all. So you can monitor SNMP here. Uh, SNMP is a, like a very popular way to manage and discover the network. So you can do that. SNMP. So again, if you know SNMP, you can install the SNMP, configure it, and do this other stuff. And data will be collected, all this thing, monitors, you know, will be done. This is the one. Now, security monitoring here is uh, lots of things. It's not uh, that. Uh, straightforward the, the way I used to tell you in the data doc. So anyone have idea about the SIM concept? SIM concept? <clears throat> SIM concept, anyone? Anyone? Hello? I'm audible, right? 
Yeah. Okay. So SIM means security implementation enterprise management or something like this. So here SIMA, SIM has a multiple full form, but here here Datadog SIM means you need to be security expert in a multiple, I mean, you need to be expert in a multiple domain of this TLC cycle tool set. And for that, you can set up a complete thing. So earlier, what, I, what I'm trying to say here, earlier you only set up the APM monitoring, infer monitoring, uh, RAM monitoring, synthetic monitoring. Now, you will add some more points and using the APM or infra or synthetic or RAM, whatever it is, you will also do the security monitoring. So there are multiple applications are involved in it for setup SIM, middleware, these are the application, containers, these are the application orchestrations, you know. So these are the application you have to conclude together and then you have to create a rule set. What check you want to do? what check uh, you want to do for the security model. So you have to create a rules which you can define somewhere here. Uh, here, detection rules, okay. And here, then you can apply that to the profile uh, here, posture management, workload securities, all these things, findings, what is the findings, whichever you create a rules, it will run in your integrations. And whatever the finding it will be there, security problems, it will tell you here. And then you can see that security problem and troubleshoot. So now again, this is off the topic, but at a high level, I must tell you uh, here, uh, you need to know the sum of the ops rule. Uh, anyone have idea about the ops rule? Have you heard about this ops, all of you? Anyone? This keyword? So when, when you want to uh, clear uh, create the security rules, you have to follow this guideline such ops. So here, hundreds of people have come together and they've created a community. And they said like, we will do that security rulings. I mean, we'll create a rule set basically. So check the security in infrastructure, runtime, cloud, container, <clears throat> logs, and all these things, they do that actually. So simple way to do that, ops rules, if you search for it, you'll get it easily. Okay, so. I'll, I'm just giving you at a high level information. So these are the rule set we have. <clears throat> these are the rule set. So these are the rule set folders and all everything you have to come. You have to read in details and then come back to this data doc and create a rules here and rules here, detection rules. And then you set up a rules and then you can start getting it. So this is the security part of it. Again, this is the, I think you are about to activate here. So you can activate this uh, in the trial period actually. This is chargeable by the way. So guys, this is the data doc. Any questions so far, all of you? Now we have, let's say we'll spend 10 minutes of time frame to have open questions before I will transfer all this stuff. So you can also create a dashboard and alerts and also play that. Anyone? Open questions? I'm audible, right? <clears throat> 